Oh, brutal. Okay, we're back for the fourth 15 minute smash and thrash afterburner workout. This is gonna be the second part of my workout 29. The last video was the first part. So if you're doing both of those back to back, you get a little taste of how long and brutal my actual workouts are. Today, you have to know your high pull. You need to know your technique on the snatch. We're doing just a dumbbell today because most of us just have one dumbbell. Kettlebell would be a lot smoother for all these motions. And if you don't know technique, get your butts back to my workout series because we go slower and I teach you proper form and technique in there. Today, no time for that. We just smash and thrash the full 15 minutes. So I'm gonna drop the camera down. We'll step back and I'll walk you through the whole complex sequence and we'll get after this. Of course, you're warmed up already on your own, warming up the shoulder girdle, the hips, the hammies, posterior chain, got a little sweat going, everything's ready to rock, so let's get to it. Okay, last workout we did the complex and we added reps to each little section every time we went around. Today, the entire list counts as one rep and we're just doing it round and round and round, nothing added to it. So left and right screen here, I got dumbbell and kettlebell option. I'm gonna grind it out, slog it out with a dumbbell Kettlebell's way more fluid and smooth through the motion. So if you have a kettlebell, good for you for buying one. I'll stick it out with the dumbbell because most of us probably just have that at home. So we're going to start with five low swing into five regular swing into five high pull into five snatch. All on the same arm, then you switch. The low swing is the most awkward, especially with the dumbbell. So don't worry about how ugly you look. You just got to drop as you extend into our regular swing, still awkward with a dumbbell. That's why you should buy a kettlebell. Into the high pull and the snatch. So that's five of all that, left and right side. Then we go into a crossover lunge, jump crossover lunge, land straight, boom. Big jump squat, five times of all those, done. Then we drop the floor, 10, chest to floor push up. Keep your chin up, chest touch ground. Remember, no knee push ups allowed, so you're elevating your body line bench, back of a couch, I don't care. Just make it work so you can hold a strict body line and build up that core strength. That's it. Woo, it's like an AMRAP as many times as we can in 15 minutes. Don't overcook yourself. Clock's about to start. Let's rip this. Okay, 10 second lead in, gonna go now. I just changed the camera angle because I realized I my uh, snatch didn't fit in the screen. Tall people problems. I'm gonna start with left hand first, 35 pound dumbbell, nothing crazy. And don't worry about how ugly this low swing looks. Just drop into squat, time the momentum. Standard lock out the full swing, lock the hips, lock the legs. Boom, high pull for dumbbell, it just comes up to the side. You can still utilize a little bit of swing from the hip. Okay, and then full snatch, right up the body, down between the leg, right up, down, right up, down. Good, switch inside, cut, yeah, one, two, dumbbells really don't fit between the legs. Full height, full height, three, four, Five. Easy high pull, elbow leads. Snatch straight up, down, straight up. Coil the legs like a spring. Explode from the legs to help. Oh, done with that. Okay, setting up center line, dropping down, little hop. Down, little hop, one. Down, down, knees gotta touch the ground. Knee crosses heel line, crosses heel line. Three, down, down, four, down, down, five. I like to think of it like a curtsy. How do you do? Woo, two minutes down, 10. Perfect strict push-up. Chin up, chest touch, quads not touching. Good. 
Good. I'm going to click my mic belt off there. All right. Back into it. Going to lead with the left again. Less talking now. Let's just get into a groove and go through it. Low swing. So awkward. Whip. A dumbbell. Full snatch. Full. If you don't like snatch, you can clean and press. That's cool. with that center line go at your own pace how do you do how do you do yeah whoa two three If the legs get heavy, just take the hop out of it. Last one. Yeah. Yeah. Those burn. 10 push up. Sweat towel nearby. No time for water breaks. Two. Perfect push ups. All the way down, all the way up. Wow, 10 minute mark. We're going two and a half minutes around on average, at least for me. We can play this video back slower, play it back quicker, whatever you got to do if you want to sync up to me. Otherwise, you do you, I'll do me. Hip hinge. Four, one, two, three, four. Switch. Ooh, an awkward two. One, two, three, four, full, one, two, full lockout. Lockout's a nice rest position. If you have mobility for it, walk out, catch your breath, drop in. Done. Whoops. Going to the left first now. How do you do? They suck. Uh. Oh, I'm 
right on my two and a half minutes per round. Whew. See if I can keep it up. Crank your beats. I hope you have some good music at home. Switching. Control your breathing, control your brace. Crossover, crossover, yeah. Whoa, getting jello. Ooh. Ooh. I'll sweat towel. No nasal breathing now. Holy crap. Oh. Push up to slowing down. I'm five seconds ahead of pace. Ooh. Halfway alarm beeped a long time ago. I gotta get into this. Let's squeeze out two more full rounds. I gotta swing these hammer grip. Use your legs. Not the back. Load the leg, uncoil. Oh, these are awkward. With the dumbbell. I'm at my limits. I'm gonna tighten these up. I'm behind. No, I'm ahead. Lots of time. Uh, 30 seconds to finish push ups. Uh, oh, I'm maxed. Every push up rep the same, or they do not count. Ooh. Okay, that's it. I have two and a half. 
to get my sixth round in. Oh, that push-up will be to the bell. Here we go. Everything still smells like skunk from Bruce. Hard to breathe. Final push. Let's start the afterburners. Five snatch. Lunges. Knee touch ground. Five seconds for push ups. Red line. And twelve seconds. I can just get into. Oh, brutal. Uh. So I got into just my fifth or five reps of low swing, seventh round. That's how you'd score it. Write it down, recover. We can keep going, finish a full round if you want. Oh, I don't feel good after this one. We'll come back in a month and a half and try to better your scores. Uh, that's all I have to say. Like and subscribe and share the video, please. Get your buddies and girlfriends and siblings and spouses involved. Spread the fitness virus. And I'll see you guys back for the fifth 15 minute workout. Oh.